almost more English than Spanish, right? Yes. Okay, yes. so then I'm going to do it in English. <laughs> Hallelujah. So let's all get in communion with our Heavenly Father in this moment. Lord Jesus, in this moment I come unto you, Lord Jesus, to present to you, Lord Jesus, everyone, each and every one of us that are here, Lord Jesus, in this moment, God, in this heavenly moment that you gave us, Lord Jesus, I ask you, God, to continue to bless everyone here today, Lord Jesus. It's an honor and a privilege, Lord Jesus, that you open these doors just for us to be here, Lord Jesus. I ask you, Lord Jesus, hallelujah, that if anyone in this moment, Lord Jesus, needs an encounter with you, God, that you, Lord Jesus, come inside their heart, Lord Jesus. I ask you, Lord Jesus, that you continue to bless them, Lord, that you take care of them, Lord Jesus. I ask you that you put words in every one of us, Lord Jesus, so that we can take this word, Lord Jesus, to every one of those that don't know you, Lord Jesus, hallelujah. If anyone needs the, you as your Lord and personal Savior, in this moment, God, I ask you, Lord Jesus, for you to open up this altar, Lord Jesus, that right now this converts into a church, Lord Jesus. It converts into an altar. It converts into your house, Lord Jesus. And I ask you, God, hallelujah, that if anyone would like to accept you, Lord, that this is the moment, God, because today is a day of salvation, Lord Jesus. I ask you, God, hallelujah, for you to continue blessing the leader, Lord Jesus, and everyone here. In Jesus' mighty name, I ask you, amen and amen. 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 It's also my pleasure to, uh, I don't know if she's here yet, Miss Barbara Connor. I'm sorry, Barbara Okay. Well, I'll just say a, a, a few brief things in her behalf. I don't know if you want to uh, act in her, in her behalf. But um, several years ago, about five years ago now, about five and a half years ago, uh, Ms. Manners was the executive director of, uh, of the um, Sharon, Sharon Head Start program here. Uh, it has always been her vision to have a, a space for fathers to come and to just to, to do what we do here. And so, oh, she is here, right on time, right on time. Oh, okay, okay. And, and, and her and the, and, and the coach got together and we have some we'll have a space in this industry to, to have a, a, a space as a part of the other dream and, and uh, father's progress to let us just, just do what we do here. And, uh, and I'll let her get her coat, coat off. And so she said, I have a space here if I have you. And, and, and it's not doing anything. And so coach and a couple of other brothers and what have you, they rolled up their sleeves and, and you know, got some paint. And, Etc. Etc. And today, now, out of the good graces that uh, they provided, we have an ongoing facility here to just do what we do. So, uh, okay, you're almost there. Yeah, you, you came right in on time. Good morning, everyone. <laughs> Welcome to Sharon Baptist Head Start, our Father for Progress um, agency, and just thank you all for coming. <laughs> So as we move up, move ahead, uh, we're going to have our uh, coach to come up and give us the, what we call as, the, as our game plan for 2015 and moving forward. What have you? We 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 use our gathering, our coming together as a team, and so we take that kind of approach and and philosophy and the, and the things that we do. Uh, to kind of give it that camaraderie for us, you know, men, we like sports, we like that kind of activity. So we translate that into the things we do as a team event. And so Coach is going to come up and have the, uh, the rest of the show to give us our game plan. And before bringing him up, uh, I just want to share this with him because I always kind of tell this as a part of my story. We met some, uh, some six or was that six and a half years ago? Ooh, my goodness. Ooh. Ooh, these times are going by fast. Some yeah. seven years ago, we met in the basement of Bronx, uh, uh, Lehman, uh, Bronx Net, Lehman College, and we were both going and taking the uh, uh, 
uh, public access training program. So we talk about what would you do, why were you here, what happened. So he's telling me that, oh, you know, I got this idea about fathers, I want to do a show together, you know, just geared towards positive things. We just talked about the media, geared towards the positive things that we do. Oftentimes, fatherhood or men, men of color, are depicted through the media in negative kinds of ways. So, hey, so I, you know, I want to have this show. And it's always been my uh, vision and, and passion as well, is to communicate the positive things that we were doing. I was, on the other hand, I was blessed. I had three fathers. I had a natural father, I had a stepdad, and I had a community dad. So I could do no wrong. <laughs> I could do, you know, do no wrong at my home or on the weekends with my father at home with my stepdad and then when I stepped out to the community, you know, there was provided summer jobs, etc. And so it's always been that kind of you know, that would be an excellent idea. And out of that, our friendship, our relationship developed to some seven years later, cross country, documenting you know, fatherhood movement, documenting fathers, you know, just hustling, doing what you do to just get our image out there in positive kinds of ways. He's been an encouragement to me in, in terms of just, just continuing. Because this is not an easy struggle. When you want to do something positive for each other, especially men of color, especially men of color, you know, it's not easy. You know, we're the last for anything, anything, you know. And we're the first for everything else that's not positive. So he's been ongoing encouragement for me just to stick in it. That there's a positive light, this light at the end of the tunnel. And so seven years later, we have it here. Much of it has been out of volunteerism. Much of it has been out of, out of pocket. Um, and Oftentimes, you got to put out. You can't expect anybody else to give you. You know, we never, we were always of the notion that, okay, well, as the government does, as public to do, but as a responsible father, we have to do it. No matter what anyone else does. So please, as he comes, comes forward, please give me a, a welcoming hand clap and encouragement for all the work that he's done. Coach Lynn. started that the fathers kept saying, we're going to the house. This is just like the house. I feel like I'm at the house. Watch this one. The house that they never had. Hmm? The house that, coach, if I, if I would have had my father in my life, this is how he would have had. I would have had a gym in my father's house. My father's house, the kitchen. We would have had a nice living room. You understand? So that's how we develop this. And this is how, why you get the feeling that you have right now. And it is the house. So we want to welcome you today. We wanted to introduce you to and. and and it's really getting kicked off throughout the world right now today. You just don't know it, but the world is going to see this. Are they not? You know how we do. So they wanted to see it. They heard about us, and we said, let's go ahead and show them the show. As well as we want to talk to you about how we're moving forward. We've been here for some time now, but the time was coming around, and, and all of us know that, because the chaos, the streets, yes. that's our arch enemy in this game. And I'm going to talk to you as the game of life. Our opponent, who is nasty, never-ending, is the streets by show of hands. How many of you know him? I've seen him before. I know I have. I've seen him this morning on the block. Mm -hmm. Early. Yeah. <laughs> he don't sleep. He don't. Uh -huh. 
Hmm? That's, our, that's our opponent. I'm going to whoop his butt good. My God. <laughs> He's got to go. But, but we have to have a plan. We can't just go willy-nilly about it. Nor can we not be organized about us attacking him. So that's what we're going to talk about today, our game plan. Not just doing it here at Sharon Baptist Head starting at the house. But I got my partner. We're telling we already started it in Brooklyn. They're in the battle. But we're doing it together. We got the NYPD here. And, and I want to be clear on that. And I want to say this out. We've been together a long time. statement and I want to say that clear on behalf of fathers. We are asking for and calling for an immediate ceasefire and all the rhetoric that could hurt this city. You know, we understand what happened. Things happen in the family. Let it go. Isn't that what a father does? I don't want to hear no arguing in this house. Especially when I come home. I don't want to hear no, he did this, he did that. I don't hear it. Same thing here. So we're calling for an immediate ceasefire on the rhetoric between the administration as well as we're also calling for an immediate ceasefire in the family. We're calling for, for all guns down, every last one of them, all beefs, all, all disruptions, all chaos. Fathers are now saying, and, and I'm clear on that, this team is clear on that, we're not having it anymore in this family because it's getting out of control. The two police officers that were killed at the, at the Chinese restaurant, we could have been there, right? Because some Chinese all the time. We could be at Target. We could be anywhere at this point. We could be waiting on the bus. So, you see, it affects all of us now. So fathers now are making it clear. We're not having it. You can say, Coach said it. So today we're going to be talking about that. I'm going to bring up some special teams. we got the offense, the defense, special teams. They're going to talk to you about how we're moving forward. But before we get started, if you don't mind, I have to get everybody warmed up. I know you feel a little warm. Champ warmed you up. Ron definitely warmed you up. But I got to have some a little bit more warm-ups. You know you can't go out on the ball field and just come straight off the street. You'll get hurt. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Same thing here. And this is how we do it with the fathers. I want you to get a little taste of how we do them. Our warm-up is how we, what we call good news. Hmm? I want to hear some good news here today. And I'm going to preface you. I'm going to give you a little warning. Or I'm going to help you out a little bit before you start working out. Good news comes in small packages. And good news often comes when it's for somebody else, not necessarily you. You heard me? Let's try that one. Who's got some good news? And I'd like you to stand up, introduce yourself. If you're from an organization, you're from a group, you're just at your family, tell them good morning to the family, and tell us your good news for today. We ain't moving forward unless we get some good news here. You know? Ron, you got to tell me. Who? Please. Come on, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning. Um, my daughter was kind of like languishing in the middle of her class. I'm so sorry, Eric. He said good morning to that. And I only heard one good morning back to you over here. I'm so sorry. All right. Y'all going to do some push-ups. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. OK, thank you. My good news is that, and I'm really happy about this. I'm really, when he said good news, I just jumped right up. My daughter was languishing in the middle of her class. And I always felt like she had much more potential, right? But then I thought, but like, instead of, like, yelling at her and saying, hey, you, you can do better than that stuff. What could I do? So I started to make a study time for my own self. I needed to study some things, and so we uh, incorporated a study period together. And I'm happy to tell you right now, my daughter just made honor. Oh. Watch this one. The question is, who got the better of that? Her or you? Hey, I learned a lot from y'all. There's something going on that I thought I knew. I don't even know. Look at that. I learned, you know, from her. You see that? You know? Sacrifice. It's just so beautiful. Sacrifice. Congratulations. Just the other day, they called 